Hello there guys, my name is Arkansas Explorer and yes, this is a video I'm doing and yeah, for my hiatus, I am doing a prediction, neither a versus debate, I'm just doing a simple review of a film I have recently just watched and as you see right here, I saw the Sonic film. Um, and if you read the title, if you have read the title, it wasn't terrible. And I am um, just quickly saying, this is all my opinion. So yeah, 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 yeah. It's my opinion. You, you're, you're, you're objective to your own. All right. But the Sonic movie wasn't terrible, but it wasn't good either. I mean, the acting for for the most part for Sonic's voice actor sounded all right. It would, and some of the other actors were doing their best. The main lead, the guy, the movie's forgettable. I can't remember. I'm trying to remember that the stuff, but like it's really hard, out of the top of my head. But the main actor, the guy, uh, the cop, who like his motivation throughout the film seems very uncanny. He's like uncanny. In a way, personally, is like, oh, you're feeling you're feeling bad because you shot a fucking hedgehog with a bear dart, which is pretty cool, which is pretty stupid, and you feel bad that you're taking it across. You're helping this creature that is literally making you, which made you, which the government has claimed you in the news reports has claimed the the main guy as a terrorist, which is like, it's like. I think that's not worth it, cause like, sure, you might feel bad for like shooting that mother, the motherfucker in the leg of the bear dart, but like, still, you, you are being warranted as a terrorist, T terror, terrorist. I can't fucking speak shit now. Ugh, it's just so dumb. <laughs> just talking about it makes you lose brain cells. It's dumb, and why does it need to be there? But whatever. You know, I let it slide. And then the oh my god, like the but I was just thinking of something, but I get to uh, I get to my thought later. But like Doctor uh, Jim Curry as Doctor Robotnik, um, it's not bad, it's not mediocre, but it's like it's okay. It's not like I love a rating. I might like give it a six out of ten, but like he could have done better but like dr robotnik and like any sorts of media didn't really have like that much of a personality so he probably did as good as he can or the writers might try to read this written this person but like uh uh just some i mean there's scenes in, like i know this movie is objective uh, is uh targeted to younger kids you know I, it's not targeted to me to my demographic aka teenagers or you know millennials or shit like that but like still ooh, it's like like you could notice the film for being like that mainly because of the facts of like sonic flosses you know it's a for reference of fortnite you know you, you guys like fortnite i'm pretty sure you guys like fortnite right and it's just like oh god it's pretty cringe not gonna lie i did not enjoy that moment of that movie it literally, I heard everyone, I heard a decent amount of uh, my friends and it's, uh, other people were like, ugh. Like, Terrence actually did that. It's like, and my little brother's like, bro, I just gave me cancer. It's like, bro, it's like, it's not, it's not a good moment for that film. It's, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't ruin the film at whole, but it just appeals to that. To like, it, it appeals to the younger demographic. So I, but, but, and they played it way too safe, safe to the point where like, I'm going every, I'm going everywhere in places because this is my like, my thoughts and shit right about this film. But like, still, like, it's safe enough to the point where you could predict a film. I, I don't even know how that's possible. Like, a movie could play it so safe that like, you could predict, like, you could predict what the hell is going to happen in the film. It's like, I never seen a film like that, or I probably have, but like. I don't remember. <laughs> I'm just... My brain just farted. Like... Okay. Those are, like, mainly the biggest criticisms ever about this film. Those are some bigger criticisms about, like, 
Oh, the pacing gets... Oh, yeah, and also, the pacing is way too fast. Oh, well, not way too fast, but, like... It's it's just a little bit jumble, jumble, like, stuff, like... They need to add its scenes where they're not... Like, they didn't need to. But, like, there's, like, scenes that... That really didn't need to happen. But, like, mm, whatever. You know, it's run to the middle. It's not a cash grab. Because, like... There was actually some effort in the... Uh... The... Special effects place about the movie. Can't even say the VF. VF. I can't even. Okay, let me just can do it. The special effects of the movie. It, they look really good. Not gonna lie. We're well, not really good, but they look better than mo. Looks better than <clears throat> Mario movie. <coughs> X Men Suicide Squad. <coughs> you know some of those. I'm sorry. I just had a cough. Um. Still, but. I mean, they did. Ha- they did. I mean, they didn't naturally copy, but like they did some flash quicksilver scenes. You know, quicksilver, aka being time just freezes and they're moving up to places and like moving at like he's moving so fast, time stops and stuff. I mean, how they did it and like it's for comedic effect and it's like kind of cool, but like and it's like all right. Uh, the jokes in the movie. I'm going everywhere. Jesus, I just noticed that. Like, but the jokes in the movie were like. Because, like, in one of the scenes, right after a scene where, like, they were in a bar and Sonic moved at, like, insane speed, like, just moved, time just stopped to him. Or, no, time just moved slow down to, like, a crawl, which probably makes him extremely fast. Who knows? Someone might make a calc. Who knows? But it's, like, such a bad moment of the film. Like, come on. Why is that needed? Bruh. I just said bruh unironically. This is just becoming a shitty episode by the minute. But still, it's like... Like, they made a... Oh, the joke. They made a joke about, like... Oh, my... Uh, about the... To- about, like... To- it's basically poop humor. Or, like, shit humor. Or, like, the fact just like... Oh, I... You should have seen how much toilet paper has I used. Like... So, like, the next person that goes in there doesn't know... Doesn't use or... Whatever the fucking thing. It's a shit... It's a, it's a fucking poop joke. And I'm like... People, some kids laugh to it. I didn't. I I literally didn't see the appeal. I mean, obviously, because I'm not fuck. I'm not. I'm not half brain dead. But like you know. But still, whatever. It's like. Uh, it's it's not. Well, mm, it's well, like I say. People say, "Oh, it's really hard to make." He's like, bro. Some people say, "Oh, why are you rating a kids' film this harsh?" It's like. Do you know? Did you know? Kids films cannot appeal to adults. It's like that's kind of bullcrap compared to like if you watch other films. Like there's actual kids films or well, kids being rough, but like kids films, more or less, actually just good and they appeal to multiple demographics because they're just naturally good. Like we could, I could just name. It's like I don't want to say I won't say this unironically, but. Shrek and Shrek 2 are really good uh, ideas for this. For a film that could be enjoyed with... Chil- uh, that children could enjoy with. But... It also could... But also other demographics could enjoy Shrek. And stuff like that. It's like... I might do a Shrek review. Who knows? Because like, that's one of my favorite animated movies of all time. And it's like... Bruh. I don't even know. And I said unironically. said bruh. Well, oh my god... Whatever, but still, I don't know. Uh, continuing with special effects, the that was like Sonic looks way much better. Like, see the image I literally put it up because like I'm lazy, but like still he looks good. Like he looks better than Method Sonic. You know, you know, you know. Remember, remember, remember Sonic's this old design, you guys. You know, where he did meth for like 35 years, then like they just recorded him moving. And like, and like other creatures, uh, designs. And I know from like the echidnas that in the beginning of the movie, and I hadn't said a spoiler warning in the beginning. Might, I might put it up. Who knows? Uh, or in post production, whatever, whatever. Who knows? I'm I'm fucking lazy. But like, there was echidnas trying to steal Sonic, and they looked all right. The bird looked way too semi realistic, to the point where like it made it very. It was very uncanny to see 
the bird interact or the owl i think interact with sonic because it was just like no 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 that's not something else that happened Ugh. Ugh. i mean it makes sense. it just looked unca- uncanny just like the things it, was, it just looked uncanny with like baby sonic or something like that but it's not t- uncanny to the point where it's like oh god what the fuck but, uh, you know, Sonic looked good with the dog, but, like, that's rare. But, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. And, uh, the other special effects is, like, the lightning from Sonic, the bloom of it. And you we could, you guys could literally watch the video for from Corridor, Corridor Digital, which they, which is a phenomenal video, by the way, and they explain how the special effects look decently alright compared to the first film, or the first inter- iteration of it. But, like, yeah... I mean, yeah, the uh, the robots looked uh, they looked cool. Uh, the tails was a surprise, and I didn't thought they were gonna do that. So they probably gonna make a sequel to this film if it does all right. If it does all right, but mm, who knows? It it's something. And uh, people has predict people try to predict it like there's gonna be a live action super smash bros universe and it's gonna start with detective Pika- detective pikachu then after that sonic then after that that cg the 3d cgi mario film which is all right uh, i don't know this movie might do good this movie is probably could do good in like some fucking foreign country like brazil which i'm like that shit i'm not foreign but like yeah pr- yeah pretty much foreign and like I don't know, it's just nothing to... I, I can't really remember everything from the film because it was just very forgettable. It had a lot of bad stuff. It had a, a lot of bad stuff that I, uh, I, I could say compared to the what all the good stuff I could say about it. And I, I forgot a lot of it. But overall, if you turn off your brain and watch the movie, you will go, uh, flashy lights, basically, mode. And you're you're gonna you're gonna enjoy the film if you just turn off your brain or you're making jokes with it with your friends, and you might annoy and you might annoy the person. I mean, for some reason, I don't know if this is was just my theory.